I am Anil Kumar. In this list of videos, we will discuss dot product. We will begin with very simple examples. This one here is just to find the dot product between two vectors. The question here is, determine the dot product of each pair of vectors. We have given two vectors, vector A with magnitude of 5, vector B of magnitude 4, and the angle is as shown here in the figure for part A. For part B, again we have vectors with the same magnitude, however the angle between them is different. So of course you will get a different answer. You can now pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. Now, whenever you want to find dot product between two vectors, uh, the dot product formula is, let's say there is vector A dot vector B. You need to multiply their magnitudes, magnitude of A times magnitude of B times cosine of angle between them. If the angle between them is theta, then it is cos of theta. Now, what you need to remember is this angle theta is when these vectors are placed tail to tail. This is very important to understand. I've seen many times students making mistake uh, by not placing these vectors tail to tail and then checking the angle. So whenever you place the vectors between uh, vectors with tail to tail, the angle between them is the angle theta which is to be considered and this angle theta will always be between 0 and 180 degrees. Is it okay? So it's always between 0 and 180 degrees. So let's keep this in mind and then find the dot product. So in our case as you see they are not tail to tail so the first step is to place them tail to tail correct so what I'm going to do here is I'll change the position of vector B or think about making a parallelogram so this vector could be translated at this position is it okay translating vectors really doesn't change the vectors they're same so you can place them at any position correct so what I've done here is translated vector B so that we have now arranged them tail to tail, correct? So this is now vector B. It is same magnitude, that means the length is same and the direction is also same. So both vectors are B. What should be this angle? This should be 180 minus 100, correct? So it is 80 degrees. You know, these two lines are parallel, therefore the angle, this forms a C, correct? So the sum of these two angles is 180. Two sides of a parallelogram, you can say, right? Two adjacent angles of parallelogram, 80 degrees. Therefore, we can write in our case, dot product of vector A and B is equal to magnitude of A, which is 5, times magnitude of B which is 4 times cos of 80 degrees. Do you see that? Not 100 degrees. That's the idea of having this question here. So we can now calculate 4 times 5 times 4 I wrote times cos of 80 degrees. Your calculator should be in degrees not radians equals to 3.47 which can be rounded to 3.5 right so it is 3.5 for us in this particular case now let's look into the other example I like you to appreciate I'll appreciate if you could I like you to pause the video and then solve part B that will give you confidence. Let's do it. So we again use the same formula, dot product, 
of A and B is product of their magnitudes times cosine of angle between them. To find the angle, what should we do? We need to arrange them tail to tail, right? That is very important. Let's do it. So in this case, what we can do is, we can just shift this vector A forward or an and, and upwards or forming a Z pattern, right? So we'll, we'll do this. So we'll just translate this vector above, kind of like this. Or we could bring this vector B down here, right? Either way it works. This time, let me put this vector upwards like this. Is it okay? So that becomes my vector A. So this is my vector A whose magnitude is 5. The angle will be, it forms a Z pattern. Do you see that? So this will be 30 degrees. These lines are parallel, correct? These lines are parallel. Just as previously, the lines were parallel. They have to be in the same direction for the vectors to be equal. So two vectors are equal. Their magnitude and direction is same. Position doesn't matter. Okay. Now, so magnitude of A is 5. Magnitude of B is 4. Cos of angle between them, which is 30 degrees. And now, what do you expect? This should be greater than or smaller than? Well, this should be greater than the first case because cosine of smaller angle from 0 to 90 degrees is bigger, right? Cos of 0 is 1. So we get 5 times 4 times cos of 30 degrees, which is equal to 17.3. Correct? Which is 17.3. So that becomes the dot product. Remember, dot product is always scalar quantity, right? So it is 17.3, a number, right? That is how you should be finding dot product of vectors when we are given them with arrow diagrams, right? So you could make a parallelogram or you can make use of parallel lines and the angle could be calculated to find the true angle theta to be used in the formula where the product of magnitudes is multiplied with cosine of that angle. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.